and welcome to this week's Disciples Who Make a Difference. My name is Christina and I am your Connections Coordinator. I hope you got a chance to view last week's interview. If not, go ahead and make some time to check it out right after this one. If you yourself would like to be interviewed, you can send me an email at socialmedia at attleboroughcovenant.org. I'd love to hear from you and set up a time to schedule that interview. We really hope you enjoy this series and especially this very special interview. Have a great day, and we hope to see you soon. So I'm Priscilla Abrahamson. My husband and I have been members of this church for 45 years, just about. Currently, I'm serving on the deacon board. Besides serving communion, which is always a joy for me, it is um, my responsibility to. Um, well, originally, it was my responsibility. It seems like a while ago now to collate the um, memorial service or funeral service uh, collations afterwards, and those, of course, came to a halt during the pandemic. So um, I did that for a while and, and now we've been taking meals to people who need them and arranging virtual showers for weddings and babies um, and also the, um, the prayer shawls for those who have lost significant people in their lives in the, in the church. So um, those are the kind of things that we're doing while we wait for things to get normal again. Superpower. I haven't ever really thought of uh, having a superpower. But I guess if I, and I don't even know if this is one, but I think it's uh, calmness. Kind of more just a calm way of being in the world most of the time. I think that, and maybe that's a superpower, I don't know if that's true. Hmm. I think it would be a, a dog. I don't know what kind, but I think the reason for that is their uh, joy and acceptance of what life brings them and of others, no matter what um, has happened to them with those people. So I think it's a dog. I, would, I, I was thinking maybe an owl because I like the wisdom thing, but no, I think I really do like the um, the dog sort of attitude toward life. I think love the dog. Totally new. When was the last time I tried something totally new? I try new recipes, so those, those kind of count. Oh, the regret question. Do I have regrets? Um, you know, there are always things that you might wish you get done otherwise um, when you get to be um, my age, I guess. But really, I think the thing I the times I regret the most are the times when I was so sure I was right. And in retrospect, eh, probably not. So I think it's really about being sure I'm right when that might not really be the case. What am I grateful for? I'm really deeply grateful for the safe way I've been carried through life. I'm grateful for the family that I came from and the family that I made with Paul and for the family that they families that they are making themselves. So I'm deeply grateful for that and for just a sense that I have 
that I have been comfortable, that I have been safe all this time. I would say um, anything involving just injustice in the world. Things that seem unnecessarily uh, exclusionary, um, self-centered, those kinds of things uh, get me riled up. And then sometimes those are times when I can feel I'm right in a way that I might need to think twice about. But it, it's really the part about um, doing justice and loving mercy and walking humbly. Maybe it's the walking humbly part that's the hardest part to get. But understanding what justice is, and not as you know, retribution, but as um, just righteousness, rightness in a situation. So, uh, more restorative than um, retributive. So those are the kinds of things that get that get me going, and then sometimes I need to be taking a breath. I would say music does. Music helps. Um, um, escaping into a good book. Helps me. I'm, I'm hungry. Um, taking a walk. Um, those, those are three things that come to mind. Mm, what message? Go on a billboard. I can think of a number of things I wouldn't put on a billboard. You know, the joke about when you put something in an email or something, you think about it as going on a billboard because everybody can see it. So if everybody's going to see, really see something that I mean to go on a billboard. Ah, uh, here it is. It just came to me. Air on the side of love. Air on the side of love. Because we're going to make mistakes. So when it's a choice, we love it. In the past few ages, this pandemic year, and that that has you know dominated our being able to be with people and that kind of thing, but also um, just a year as a year. Um, I think I've come to understand my faith better. I think I've come to understand what all the things I've known for my whole life, it seems, actually mean and how they play out in, uh, in life. So I think that I've become more, um, maybe it's wise, I don't know, certainly understanding of what all the pieces fit together. Part of that is from reading, part of it is from Bible study, it's from friends. Um, I've, I've changed in that way, I think, yeah, a bit. What's my faith story? What I want you to know about it. Um, this doesn't necessarily make it part of my faith story, but I'm a preacher's kid. So I grew up um, both absorbing all the stories of uh, Christian faith and just breathing them, really. But also resisting them in my own ways all along. So, uh, while there's sort of nothing new under the sun, everything's new under the sun in terms of faith. Um, even as I um, you know, move into uh, an older phase of my life, for sure. Um, one of the things I'm grateful for is that God can still teach this old dog new tricks definitely still happening, and I guess that's why I'm still around. Right. 
So what do I love talking about? What could you come up and didn't know me and you talk to me about and I would be into it right away? Um, well, I have to tell you that I am a reader. That's one of the things that I love to do. So anybody who wants to come up and talk to me about a book, I'm, in, I, I'm ready, to, ready to talk. Um, just finished reading a book that somebody said just said to me on an, on an email. Yeah, I just finished reading this book. I can't wait to talk to somebody about it. And I um, just finished reading it myself because I can't wait to talk to her about it. So books, um, ideas, I'm a teacher, so teaching. Um, the way people learn. It sounds, all sounds kind of uh, maybe not, not too personal or all kind of remote. But I'm a reader and I'm a teacher. And, uh, so I like to talk about those kinds of things.